All right, guys, all done. Uh, somehow I got everything on there. Now here's a look at it. So that's four different flavors, and it's funny because the last bag was jalapeno, and I had to scatter some. So there's going to be some surprise snacks in the middle of some of these other flavors, but I do not recommend that you pack them so tightly. You should actually have space around all the jerky so they can cook evenly. Um, I didn't want to do a full another two hours of like a small batch, so I went ahead and just kind of crammed them on there. Hopefully I do not regret that, but man, that looks good, right? I'm just going to pick them up and take them to the camp chef. Rack number one. Camp Chef is sitting right at 194 degrees right now. So get them started. There we go. Top, top rack. Middle rack. Now, last but not least, the bottom tray. There we go. Okay guys, that's gonna sit for about an hour and 15 minutes. I'll check them. I might snag some of those thinner pieces off them. But the last time I did it, it took about an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes to make it to, you know, the desired cooking level that I enjoyed. So each piece is kind of cut different. So about an hour and 15 minutes, I'll check it. And then by two hours, they'll be done. All right, this batch has been on there for quite a while now. I'm gonna come check it out. Looks like that top shelf is still getting cooked, but just by looking at this bottom shelf, I'd say it's about done. Dang, tastes good. All right, I'm probably gonna pull this bottom shelf and then I'll move that lower shelf down, um, which are some of the thicker pieces. I'm gonna want those to cook nice bottom shelf out of there. It looks just about perfect whoa that's a thing you just want to keep checking definitely don't want to overcook this stuff get too crispy and crunchy but to me that right there looks just about right i'd say that's perfect look at all that these little ones are a little crispy definitely cooked the thicker the thicker the slices mine are very inconsistent but the thicker the slices the uh softer the meat will be but even that little piece right there is about what you'd get out of a package of meat right there there you go guys most of this jerky is done i have everything off the middle tray was good the bottom tray was good to begin with this is that top tray and a lot of the pieces were cut quite a bit thicker so what i'm going to do is probably start taking off some of these outer pieces that are cooked and then put uh, all the thick pieces back in but that's just how easy it is to make jerky on this smoke pro so guys if you get a chance check them out that's the model i have the camp chef smoke pro super simple it's uh, hovering right around 213 right now money well it's a beautiful sunday morning in utah pretty ideal for uh middle of December so I decided why not go fishing I haven't been out since October probably and uh, it just seemed like too good of a day not to come out so my first little spot I've got a few fish rising surprisingly so I'm gonna try to catch one on a dry fly and if that doesn't work then I'm gonna probably move over to a streamer setup chuck some of those and worst case scenario I do a little nymphing but I don't I don't care for nymphing near as much Ooh, there what another one just rose right there I don't know what they're eating, so I'm gonna try like a little gnat pattern, something small. Probably midges or gnats are predominantly what they're gonna be going after in the winter time, but it is just uh, another gorgeous day in Utah on a river. So, wish me luck. Fishing is what, how should we phrase it, slow? Very, very slow, got kind of windy, it's calmed down a bit, but haven't caught one single fish. However, I've caught a significant amount of trash. We have a male flip-flop, a female flip-flop, a beer can, and some iced tea. Uh, that seems to be a common theme after the summer raft folks make their way down the river. Have a tendency to leave quite a bit of trash washes up on the shoreline and 
whatnot when it gets uh, in these winter months they start releasing water out of these reservoirs but I will pick that up and take it back it's a public service announcement if you see trash out in the field hunting or fishing snag it take it home throw it away it's, a it's freezing cold and I'm sitting here drinking on a frozen protein shake let's go see what's going on in the warehouse look at this it's my first time seeing it in person yeah. Looks pretty sweet. Okay, no a little patch, the badge. Thanks, guys, for all you that ordered during uh, the Thanksgiving Black Friday sale. You guys are awesome. BMAC is filling orders, dude. What's Running up, the guys? warehouse. What's up? Nice to see you. Black Friday. Dang, Cyber Monday sharp. orders are going out, guys. There's only 70 more left to ship out of uh, over 500. So. Looks sharp, huh? Flat brim. Yeah, flat brim. Dang. Stimmons. Yeah, that color. Awesome. I think we did good on the color choice awesome. there. The patch is a lot cleaner in person. It is. It looks it's a lot better in person. Yeah, like he said, thanks guys. Look, all the shirts. The men's, ladies' hoodies. If you didn't get a chance to pick one up, sorry. Limited edition. That's why you guys got to stay on top of things with social media. We'll have some more probably, but yeah, killing it. They have. They've Just been shipping a lot of stuff. Right Got what? stickers. Decals? No way. Oh yes way. <laughs> <laughs> Is this so fun? It's the best. My favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, guys, we're gonna go through orders. We're gonna help probably ship a few, and then uh, we'll get uh, back after filming some more vlog footage. I don't know what to say. What are we doing, BMAC? What are we doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Insta story. What are you Insta doing? Insta story, the vlog. This is why you guys got to follow us on social media, okay? How about that? Those turned out super clean. I've had the one sample for like a month now. Eric's been wearing this hat for a long time and so many people have emailed and sent us direct messages. When is that digital fluorescent green fireball hat going to be available? <laughs> We've been hearing you. Don't don't think we're not hearing you. But it took a little time to get it produced. But now, look at that. They are ready to roll. Ready to go. In stock, guys. It's crazy. We get a lot of people asking where to buy our hats um, through our YouTube videos. So it's just gethushin.com. Pretty much anything you see here. Hats, sweatshirts, hoodies, stickers. New hat looks sharp. I had to snag one for myself. A little bend in there. Guys, I'm starving Marvin, so I decided to cook some food. Hope you guys don't get sick of all the cooking I do. If I'm not hunting, I'm going to the gym and cooking, but look at that. My deer heart. So I'm going to clean the deer heart and batter it and deep fry it in a little bit of oil. Um, first time doing it alone, we did this on one of our videos, how to cook an elk heart. Tasted great. First things first is I gotta trim all this up and anything white on that heart has got to go. All right, so I cleaned up the outside of the heart and uh, this is the inside. I rinsed it out, but once you rinse it out, you really wanna get this white stuff out of there. Any white film or connective tissues, I don't know what it's exactly called in there. You wanna clean those out. So I'm gonna take a knife and clean those out this is what it will look like when it's done. I'm just going to do these little nuggets and I'm going to bread them and fry them. But if you didn't know it was heart, you'd just look at that and think it was like a really lean cut of meat. I mean, there's no fat. And from what I've read, deer heart is really good for you. All right, it is diced up into little nuggets and ready to be breaded. I uh, bought this crunchy Thai peanut. It comes with sauce and the crust mix for chicken. I have no clue how this is going to turn out. Uh, the directions did say you can use it for frying, but uh, I figured what the heck. So you got to take all the nuggets. I'm going to coat them in this garlic sauce. It says you just coat them in this and then dip them in the peanut crust. But uh, I wanted to try something with some flavor and something other than just plain flour. Not a huge fan of just eating a bunch of fried flour. So peanut crust sounded pretty good to me. It's hard to do one-handed, guys. That's the catch of doing this on camera. Oh crap, I shouldn't have done that. All right, that's all my 
deer steaks. I'm just going to mix this up. Okay, those are nice and breaded, so I'm going to go ahead and put some in the oil. I'm going to cook the entire thing right now, and I guess if there's any leftovers, I can just eat them later for a midnight snack or something. I'm really banking on this peanut crust tasting good. It sure looks good. Most of my peanuts are in there getting cooked by the oil. But the veggies look good. I'm gonna let this sit and just kind of dry off for a minute and kind of get crispy. I like a I like a little bit of a crunch. Then I'm gonna serve it up. Oh man, guys, does that look good or what? I've been digging the guacamole and fresh salsa and cilantro lately. I'm gonna give this a try, see how it is. I'm gonna get a little piece of heart. Peanuts add a little bit of a crunch. The texture of the meat is, uh, you know, you can tell it's lean, you know, it's not rubbery and uh, you can just tell it's like a solid chunk of meat. If I had to guess, I'd probably just say it was a deer steak. That's pretty good though with the veggies. If you guys aren't saving the heart when you hunt big game, deer and elk, stuff like that, you should save it. I'm definitely starting to save mine. Man, it's a good cut of meat. Good for you too.